What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. So, earlier this week, I dropped a video pretty much releasing a fan made Fulana restructure deck. And I, I thought it was kind of like, you know, like, yeah, I was kind of like going over, looking up, making sure I had all the Fulana Reese cards because for some reason I felt like I, I was missing one. <clears throat> I ended up kind of like looking up some of the prices and I, and I don't know, I had it in my mind that like, you know, like a lot of it was just like 10 cents, you know, 5 cents, 20 cents. There's actually a couple things that were actually worth some money. So I kind of decided, you know what, let me just do a market watch themed off of Flan Reef. So if you like what we do here, please feel free to like, subscribe. If not, it is all cool. We do videos like this all, all the time. We do market watches. If you miss, if you miss my uh, Flan Reef fan made structure deck, probably going to leave, uh, probably going to leave uh, at the end of the video, there'll be a little card or maybe I might leave something up, you know, on the screen, whichever one I feel like doing, I'll leave it there so that we can get to it. You know, like, please go there, like, like, leave a like, you know, like, you know, like, leave the, like, let me know in the comments down below if that's something you like, or maybe if you have some ideas to add to it and make it better. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Flanderies and Rabina. Very interestingly, when I saw the rares were actually, you know, like, in the $1 range, I know it said just 99 cents, I was actually, I, I was, I was, I was somewhat impressed, I was like, wow, you know, like, people, people actually... Are, are valuing these rares at like you know you know actually giving these rares some value because like like sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh I feel like they're they're just so much like like so many cards and people are really caught up on like you know like oh only high high rarity I kind of like seeing that like you know people recognize that this is a really good deck and it shouldn't just be you know it shouldn't just be out there you know for free so you got the rares right here you're paying pretty much a dollar and the super rares from Burst of Destiny these right here the market price says about seventy five cents but if we come down here. We got one like life plate first. Yeah, one life plate first dead for seventy five cents. But then right when that's gone, it's one ten, like one twenty. So you know, like like once like like once this set's gone, and we're we're pretty much looking at this cards like you know like couldn't be, you know, over a dollar. I guess in a, another thing, another purpose of this market watch is also to kind of inform you guys that if you if you have like copies of these just chilling in your bulk, or you just have like you know like like, like I said bulk, you know like if you're if you're like me and you like collecting a whole bunch of bulk or. When you, you know, when you get packs, you get stuff, you just kind of keep it to the side. It's not really organized. If you feel like you have some of these, I would like, I like to inform people that you should pull these out to try to get some trade value and stuff. Because I was very, like, it was like, I literally just stopped what I was doing when I saw the prices and got all my extra Flandery stuff out of my bulk. Flanderies and Eaglin, this is another one that I saw that was like going over a dollar. You got the reg right here from Mega Pack. They're saying 18, but like, they're actually like closer to like the dollar. I just sold a set of these. If you go to the super rares right here, though. These ones right here are for sure, right? Yeah, like for sure, going for a dollar. You got this for a dollar ninety nine, but once that's gone, they're one twenty, one twenty, one twenty four. So pretty much, you want to kind of like, like, like keep an eye out, it's like, like especially the super copies are, you know, over a dollar. Flandre is an M pen. The super and M pen are, are extremely budget, but the secret rares are worth some pretty good money. You got these right here. These, uh, like, they, they're like, they, they, they were up about like, a few months ago, like, like when Flanderies was kind of like, you know, it was, it was actually like one of like, like one of the top, probably one of the top three decks to play maybe about a month and a half ago, and now it's kind of come back down to being like another like regular tier 1.5 deck, even also sometimes tier one, depending if there's a lot of, if your locals has like a lot of, you know, graveyard, if you feel like you go to a graveyard heavy event, Flanderies is a very good option. You got the secret right here for four, for like 449. Like you know, like pretty much like 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 for four fifty five dollars. So pretty much like like four to five dollars for the secret rare version of this card, which is not bad. I really do like the secret rare. And then you got also you have the ultra rare. This is something that I like almost forgot about the ultra rare, which is the special edition from Burst of Destiny. These one right here is seven fifty seven fifty two. So like if you, if you got this and you forgot about it, it's kind of just chilling on the side. This is actually worth almost twice as much as the secret rare. So if you you know like if you had a set of these and you stopped playing it and you wanted some trade value. Just know that these are worth twice as much as the secret. One of the few times that the lower rarity worth way more than the higher rarity. Kind of just a quick overview. You got like in an another another pretty good one is the ultra rare uh, Flanderies and Avid Adventure. But you you could also get it pretty budget, probably like the fifty cent you know for the prismatic. You got the maps going for forty cents. A lot of the cards in this deck are going for less than fifty cents a copy. You, you like you you could essentially probably depending on who you're talking to. Except for probably like Eaglin and like R R R Rabina, you could probably get, you know, like a dollar for a set of everything you need for this deck. You also got the Starlight, you know, let's still like pretty much up. So I, I guess like uh, also, also too, like if you just have a, like a lot of copy of these and you like, you know, do, you know, do like stuff online and stuff, just know like, you know, the 25 cents, a lot of these unexplored wins, 25 cents. People are actually interested in playing this deck, especially if, if especially with like the, Ready collection being released and maybe people are trying to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh and they're like, oh, like, like, 
what's like a what's like a decent deck that I could run, you know, that that you know that uses all these ready collection cards. I would say Flandery is good, especially because they just got the Harpy's Feather Storm, which is a huge addition, you know, like well, which is like a really huge part of this deck that for a while was you know kind of like you know blocked because of you know it's paywall. Alright, so some more Glitter Protection is the next card I want to talk about. For some reason, I, I thought of checking it just to see if it was like, oh, maybe it's a dollar. It, it's not really a dollar. You get it right here for 10 cents and like, you know, 2 cents. To be honest, it, it, I really do like running the Samorg engine in the Flanderie simply because if you open up with only Eaglin, or, you know, or maybe if you just want some, you know, or maybe you just feel like you're going second and you want that extra extension, or if you know that your opponent's playing like, you, like your, your opponent's like hard on like, Imperms and Veilers and even Ghost Ogres, like if they're hard on cards like that, then you're gonna want this some more to kind of make sure you either have the tribute fought on the field or you're able to like get those extra normal summons. So I do like having this, and yeah, this is extremely cheap. For some reason, I thought they were maybe going for a little bit more. Ryza the Mega Monarch. You got the secret from the Mega Packs, they're going, it says 95 cents, the market price is around four. The, the secret rares the, from, from Duelist Alliance, these right here are like probably like the Unlimbs are going like in the $3 range. So you know, like, I, like to be honest, like if 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 you really if you really want high rarity, I would just go like with, with, with the mega pack ones. You probably get them in the in two to three. Let's see, let's see, let's, let's just go ahead and pick up the mega pack one. So because uh, yeah, like the thing about this is a lot of these heavy plays and damage ones are kind of like messing with the price. But if you got light played first, Ed is three oh six four forty three. So they're pretty much like three to four bucks for the secret from the mega pack. To be honest, I, I would just go with that one. But if you like i said this deck is also extremely budget which is all which is which is kind of like ironic why i chose it for my for like the first one for my fan made structure deck it's already a budget deck so you, so you don't really need to make a structure but i i but something that i feel that newer players like i kind of talk about a bit of other videos that there's certain nuances in Yu-Gi-Oh that just knowing a deck is cheap you know like i guess kind of certain players think that oh well you know like not a lot of people play it and it's cheap so maybe it's not that good without realizing that you, you know like maybe this is good for your play style right now and you just need to understand that oh you know this is how Yu-Gi-Oh works this is how this deck operates this is anti yu gi -Oh. in this situation this is good so that, that's kind of why i think uh, flanderies would make a really cool structure deck in the future I hope uh Konami does it, but you got right here. You got the budget version. Light, light plate versus 25 cents, 30 cents for Ryza, the Mega Monarch from Ghost from the Past. Miss Valley Apex Avion, the dual terminal right here. I, I I tried checking it earlier, but like you know, there's a lot. There's a whole bunch of like different like like light plates and near mints and everything. But like the, it ranges from about 10 to like 20 dollar, 20 dollars. You got but you got the secret rare, which to be honest, I thought was gonna be way higher. I think this is actually a pretty cool like pretty cool like like you know like little price like to get it at you if you just want to get like a regular light played version you got like three like 398 you're like 398 the last you got a card that i want to talk about is harpy's feather storm so harpy's feather storm is really 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 good it is a blowout card in the deck it puts it puts a lot of decks just on its ass by itself like even like 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 e even if you don't necessarily end up with like the best hand just as long as you're able to get to storm and you're able to resolve you know like harpy's feather storm that could be enough for you to like either you know like come back in the set come back later on your turn or maybe summon something on your opponent's turn to get a little extra so having having this available i think what really solidifies this as like a very solid deck you have every single version at under a dollar the super rares right here and not at like nine cents then you got the you got the secret rares right here at 37 to be honest just take your pick right now if you really really want to get if you really want to get the right one i would go ahead and get the quarter century rare these right here are going for around the five dollar range i checked them out right here we got 577 599 so i guess like like like, like more closer to six now like, like when i looked at them when i looked at them they're kind of going and like closer to five but it looks like they're kind of starting to go up in that six i, I wouldn't be surprised if, if these go up even even though like even though i already talked about some buyouts there there's going to like i want to say buyouts there's just going to be a lot of fluctuations because ready collection released so many cards in 25th anniversary rec like rarity that you know it just kind of takes those certain formats or you know those certain situations where oh bam you know like this is a good card now wait didn't it come out of ready collection boom the the you know like it a freaking five dollar a quarter century rare goes to like 20 bucks simply because that's like the highest rarity of it so that's something that i uh, th this is one of the cards that i would choose 
that I guess like, in my mind this is one of the cards that I feel like as long as they don't get another reprint or anything if if laundries kind of you know go back to be the deck to play I would very much see these shoot up all right guys that's it for the video peace out and I'll catch you in the next one